the women's GS race at Solden on the weekend was such a close battle. Michaela Schifrin just pips Lara Goot for first place. Now I thought it'd be really interesting to look at the two skiers on their second run and see like where, where was this race won? Because actually in different places, uh, each skier was ahead. So I thought rather than like the last video where there was style, I had a bit of a stylistic sort of viewpoint on things, which I'm defending myself saying that's just because I like style and I think, you know, everyone does. Why would you put a piece of art on the wall? Because you like the style, you'd choose it over something else. So even though ski races, it's all about who's the fastest down, not what you look like. I think everyone understands and knows that, but then commenting on other aspects like, well, with people with quite different styles, like can they compete still closely? Like that was why I made the last one with River versus the winner, Marco Odomat. But this one, if I looked at the two skiers, I wouldn't say I preferred one style over the other. They're both uh, incredibly, you know, beautiful, accurate, skilled, and so really it comes down to, uh, yeah, a few more tactical things than technical things, you could say. Now I'm gonna point out what I see is the, like what made Michaela Schifrin win because she was actually behind, like by a decent amount, coming off the steep. And the steep is possibly the hardest part to, to get right. And Lara Goot is quite a decent way ahead of her on the steep, yet, Michaela Schifrin on the flats is that's where she pulls through and takes her by 0.14 of a second. Let me take you through what I see and again it's just my perspective everyone can have their own and, and that's fine that's what's good about the world we're allowed to do that. Let's have a look at what I see. Michaela has like a slight advantage which is so interesting in the start here. Let me run it at full pace. So if we look around the corner, the first difference between the two skiers at this moment here has got to do with how they deal with this slight dip in the terrain. I'm just gonna draw it in so it's really obvious. It's this little dip here, this little dip here. Now, Michaela on the left here, notice she, she sort of stays low and look where she chooses to extend. So at this point, Lara Goot, has already stood up. Michaela has stayed low and she actually extends more later. So she is like, I wanna relate this to, I guess a pump track because this is exactly the same thing that Michaela does at the bottom that puts her back in front and makes her win. So you think about like a pump track, which is a, a, a track that has no, uh, usually it's set on complete flat and it's got rolls in it and you have to use your body to sort of unweight and weight, say a bike or a skateboard or something to go faster around it. So it's the timing of when you allow gravity to push you down the hill and, and sort of move up to unweight yourself that really matters. So Michaela Schifrin through this section like uses this, this flat a bit more like a pump track and you can even see as she comes around here, she looks like she comes out with more speed. And then already by this point you can see uh, it's pretty much well synced up she's just gone a little ahead. Okay, so on the flats, Michaela Schifrin sort of pipping her and having a little bit more speed in this top section. Now through here, they're almost identical, right? As we come back through, I'll just bring up, see this point, you can see that the, uh, the clock will show, there it is, Lara Goot's advantage of, you know, 0 0.02 of a second ahead uh, goes down. She's already now uh, slower than Michaela, whereas Michaela actually gains time in the top section. We come into the steep, and again, both skiers like so uh, close in terms of their technique and line chosen. I think Lara is just a little riskier and takes it a little more direct down uh, down the course, and particularly when we get to, see look, like so similar, the two skiers. There goes the red panel from Lara Goot. And you can see as Lara hits it, I'll go back, was Lara, like she takes the panel out, whereas Michaela uh, like is just clipping it. So 
tighter line by Lara, the riskier, more direct line, which is obviously faster, uh, she's taking. And again, she starts to be in front. So at this point, Lara's ahead. So she's just clipped the gate. Now Michaela hits it. So Lara Goots uh, living dangerously, but it's paying off. We come down this section and again, Lara more direct pins it. You can see at this point, more straight at the gate and this is where she's off. Can you see at this point, she's already starting to be well ahead of Michaela. See past the red gate, now past the red gate. So you'd say coming on to, off the steep, onto the flats, Lara Goot has a definite advantage. Look at this, past the red gate, Michaela Schiffen is really like a decent bit behind. So she's just got to keep it together through the flats until here. So here's where there's a difference again. Have a look, there's a slight dip, a slight dip on the flat. Now how these skiers choose to like approach this is, is very different. So look, Lara stands up taller and then as the terrain drops away, she's almost unweighted here. So she's in the air. Look at the difference between her and Michaela. Michaela is sort of pulling her feet up, trying to not be pushed up at all by the bump and watch her push down and extend down like a pump track. Pushing off of it to stay on the snow to speed up and, and check this out. Look, Lara hits the gate, Michaela Schifrin, Still back here, Lara's already hit it. So she's got the advantage, you'd think. Lara's definitely got this in the bag. But that move Michaela makes here, plus, you know, there's other things I've got no idea about, like the choice of wax, uh, the preparation of the ski. But you'd think two of the, you know, best ski races in the world would be pretty similar there, but that can always be a factor. But I think it's interesting to note the tactic, like they're almost identical, you know, through all these other sections except for where there's this pump track type section, the terrain kind of rolls, and they both do something very different. Come down, now have a look at this. Already, so Lara clips the blue gate. Now Michaela has caught up. Look, she's just a second behind. Uh, Lara hits the red gate. Michaela hits the red gate. So Lara's still ahead. Michaela is just catching up. But that little extra speed she's got, look at this. Now they literally hit the gate at the same time. In fact, Michaela is just a little bit in front. The race is on. We come to the finish line and look at that. Michaela just over by point. That's what 0.14 of a second looks like to take the win over Lara Goot. What an incredible race, amazing to watch. And I think just fascinating to look at what separates these two people. Like it's not that uh, Lara Goot can't make the same move that Michaela made on that little pump track section. She absolutely could and there'd be times when she does, but for whatever reason in that moment, and you know, I'm probably the least qualified person to really say this, you know, as I don't do a lot of ski racing, but I think it's fascinating to look at, you know, at this moment and if you could rewind back and say, hey, when you come to that, what if Lara sort of pumped that section, didn't stand up, you know, perhaps had a little more wind resistance here, look, see, hitting the body, so that's going to play, play a role. Uh, Michaela Schifrin is lower, plus she actually like extends down here and is keeping contact so gravity can keep pushing her down the hill, whereas Lara Goot becomes a little bit up, unweighted, and uh, happens to, yeah, like slow her down. Because look at, look at that difference. Lara Goot, well ahead, well ahead by quite a few frames of the video camera. And then she manages to pull ahead just by 0.14 seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And again, I tried to keep style out of it. Uh, that aside, both, both amazing skiers, it was really down to the flats, like uh, Lara Goot better and faster when it came to the steeper section. But then these two little sections at the top and at the bottom here where there was a dip, how they managed it was what, what I believe sort of was the, the, the factor that made one win over the other. Thanks for tuning in. And if I you know, have time, I'll make some more of these analyses just based on what I'm seeing there. Thanks very much.